can jump it. Oh, that cop car got proper over there. <laughs> I have no idea what they were doing. Right, it's Tuesday again, which means it is time to find another abandoned car. This week it is the Plymouth Barracuda. And the clue on the Facebook page says, Go west to the forest and follow the signs to New Haven Calvins. Collect the Plymouth Barracuda while you can. You've got another week to do this, 150 odd hours. And let's go and find this uh, Plymouth Barracuda. Uh, this is a gas station that's nearby. And I saw some signs that said that this is the lake, New Haven Lake. But I don't know where the cabins are, so we'll have to find them. We're headed in the right direction. So if you look at some of these signs that will pass, I'll have to probably slow down because uh, there you go, New Haven Lake up there. And New Haven Lakes to our right, can you turn up here? Right, all we all need to do now is find some cabins. There's always going to be cabins around the edge of the lake, right? So I think we was down here and we found an abandoned part last time. That looks like a cabin there, you see that on the left, other side of this uh, river, lake even. Here we go, New Haven cabins, that'll do. You see him peeking through on the left. Welcome to New Haven cabins. All we need to do now is find the car. Oh, but it's not like it's somewhere hidden. Oh, there you go, it's put it on the map for us, which is nice. Alright then, Perth Barracuda it is. Let's enter it. Alright, and now we've uh, got to get it back. What is this? This is an off road class car, it's 177. Which means I think we should try and keep our uh, route off road as possible. Because the cops shouldn't be able to follow us as easy off road. Is that a thing? I'm out of the way. Right, we just need to find somewhere to turn off this motorway. One of the things I'm not too keen on on this game is that. Right. No, I can't put through that. Cops pushes in. Is it like on a lot of these motorways and what have you? There's just like a crash barrier all along it, so you can't really go off the road after them. You've got to try not finding out me. Right, four miles. Not sure if that's accurate. This little edge or whatever it is there. Oh no, it's doing that thing where it shuts your engine down. I can jump it. Oh, that cop car got proper over there. I <laughs> have no idea what they were doing. Uh, let's go to the left, I think I can go up there. You have to watch out for invisible walls in this game, because even though it's like, you can explore places, there's lots of places where the rocks have like a... Where are you going to put a rhino up here? Yeah. 
Yeah, there's some weird invisible walls in this game sometimes, so places that you think you can go up. Like that, that should have been a jump, but there was a, a wall or something there. How can I get out of this place now? I follow the path for a bit. Oh, that kind of looks like a jump there. We jump this. And there's like an invisible wall there as well. Or I'm just not getting enough there to do it. Help you have his car, this is they don't look back after the Right, uh, there's a lot of time. Right, and I think we can just off-road the rest of it. Yeah, there looks to be a big jump there. I tend to think it's safe to take the jump because there's a little... Uh, ...good to whatever there. Won't want to fall down that. Those cops get proper really, don't they? Right, we're almost there. <laughs> this cop car's just raining from the sky. Don't want that high one. This looks like it's going to be a big jump. Maybe not. And there we go, we've lost the cops, of course, because they slow down when you get near this place. But even if you lure them back here, they do you not. Know. they got so slow. And we're now on... Bush Barracuda. That's how it's done. Let's set off for off for road. You got yourself a Plymouth Barracuda. <laughs> Those classics are an ultra rare collector's item. Great way to drive in style. So this is what it looks like when you get it. Obviously this is off-road class. You can once you've unlocked it like we have now, we can use it for any class, but we have to go to the shop and buy it. The dealership. Uh, let's quickly look through options. Right, so you got your bonnets and stuff, we'll just make it look standard for now. Your different grills. Got your front bumpers. Got your splitters. Fenders. There is like wide body kit, wide arches for it even. Side skirts, it's literally that one. Rear fender. Spoilers. Oh, that massive like drag type spoiler thing. <laughs> Your rear bumpers. Your exhausts. Put a wheelie bar on it? I think I can't because it's not a drag car. Am I right? I'm thinking that. Not a clue. Tail lights. And we've got a roof which is just making it all 
Roasted. So there you go. Uh, I don't know if you make it a different class, like drag class. Can you have wheelie bars and stuff on it? We'll have to find out. How much does it cost? We'll quickly check. So all these uh, abandoned cars start a little bit modified from the uh, normal. So this is a 177. Uh, let's just quickly fast travel to a drag dealership, see how much it costs if you want to buy it again. And every abandoned car can be upgraded to 399. As you can see like there's a Volvo that goes up to 399. Uh, how much it cost to buy it in a different class? It costs 70 grand to buy it in a different class. So if we wanted to make it a drag one, we could do. Uh, obviously it goes up to 399, whereas say, uh, like a Skyline, it only goes up to 300. And it is here. Uh, this is Lake New Haven. And the cabins are just sort of like north on, on the lake. Uh, either of these petrol stations you can get to it from, nice and easy. You just pop up here, there's this little big log cabin thing. There. And the car's literally like parked up here. So there you go, this is the Plymouth Barracuda you can get. And uh, see you next week for the next one.